Hello fellow accountants, welcome to learning at igcseaccounts.com. Please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com. If you go to the notes section, you'll find the notes that go along with this tutorial. And the easiest way to follow the tutorial is to right click over the button that says notes, click here and download it onto your desktop, which should be much quicker than waiting for it to load up on your web browser. My name is Dino Hoss and today we will be looking at balancing off the T accounts in uh, the ledger. Sometimes if you remember we refer to the T accounts as the ledger accounts. So what we're going to look at is an asset account and how we would balance that off as well as a revenue and an expense account. If we start off with the bank account we can see that we have a balance BD which stands for brought down and that is the balance that you had in your bank account at the end of last month and the beginning of this month. So at the end of April you had $1,300 in your bank and that's the balance that you bring down from last month and you start with at the beginning of May. At the end of the year we also need to work out how much money we have left in our bank accounts and the beauty of the double entry system is of course that it will work it out for you if you take the debit away from the credit. So if we look we can see very very clearly that when you add up the debit side which is if you remember the money coming into your bank account it adds up to 2500 and that is known and shown in your T-account as the total. The total of the credit entries, money going out of your bank account, was 1,400. How do I know that? Well, I purchased 400 pounds worth or dollars worth of toy trains. I paid my workers a thousand dollars. And so if I look at how much I started with plus how much I earned from my sales and I added them together it would give me a total of 2,500. When I minus that from the 1,400 I have a balance of 1,100. And that's actually how much money I have in my bank account. It's the balance that I'm going to carry down, hence the C D to the beginning of next year and by putting in my balance carried down here I now have 1100 which gives me the same total as on the debit side. We always bring down the balance in our bank accounts in this case we have $1100 left on the opposite side of the carried down so your balance bought down is always on the opposite side of the balance carried down and it's the same amount it's 1100 because that's what we have left in our bank account and the bought down is always on the first day of next month so in this case the first day of June the carried down is always on the last day of the month so that's how we would balance it off this figure then will go the balance bought down figure will go into your trial balance which we will cover in the uh, trial balance tutorial. If we look at some of the other examples such as an expense or a revenue then we can see very very clearly that the same principle really applies. Here we've had sales that have amounted to $7,000. We've sold H King 700 R wing a thousand, D Bing five thousand, and R Brad three hundred. So clearly, the sales totals to seven thousand dollars, and we have nothing on this side. So what we do is we would balance this off by putting a seven thousand on the debit side, and now we can see that we have 7,000 on the debit side so when we add 7,000 here we have two totals 7,000 on either side. Now in the previous example what we did was we did a balance carried down there 
all right and we then would have brought a balance down of seven thousand all right now some teachers will teach you to do it that way however the correct way is to actually not bring the balance board down but to post this carried down figure straight to your income statement in other words it's going to go into your profit and loss figure uh, or statement so um, why is that well because the trading and profit and loss account is where you will find your sales account and actually specifically it will be the trading account where your sales will be the first item that you list in that account so we post it straight to that um, final account if you like wages is the same here we can see that we paid wages of a thousand so we have a total here of a thousand to get a thousand total on this side we also need to do another balance carried down here the wages is an expense so rather than doing a balance carried down and a balance bought down of a thousand what we do is we simply instead of putting the balance carried down we simply post it straight to the income statement and this figure of wages would actually end up in your profits and loss accounts and not your trading account as with sales and that is how you would balance off a T account if you found this tutorial useful then please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com there you can find interactive quizzes past papers and mark schemes as well as the notes that go with this video tutorial